Ciao, today we're making sausage and peppers. One of my favorite street foods. What I mean by that is I relate this dish to the feasts of the city. My favorite one was the San Gennaro feast in Manhattan. Grew up with sausage and peppers. Right here we have Italian pork sausage. This is a sausage that's not overspiced. A little salt, pepper, and a touch of fennel seed. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sear this in a frying pan. So we have a little olive oil in here. And we're going to add the sausage on medium high heat. And we're going to sear that on both sides. Another trick is I also I take the sausage out of the refrigerator an hour or two so it's not ice cold when it's hitting the frying pan. And while we have that sauteing, we're going to come here and start slicing up our peppers. We have red peppers, you could use red and green, or whatever combination you like. Uh, and this is how I like to do the peppers, nice and easy. Get the seeds out, and they're done. All right, sauce has been cooking for about 10 minutes. They're about 90% cooked. You take a look at that beautiful crust and that caramelization. That's the difference that makes a great sauce and peppers. I've eaten a lot of sausage and peppers in my life, and I always get surprised when I don't get a good one because it's pretty simple. So I'm taking these sausages out, and I'm coming back over here to my red peppers. Uh, finish dicing them, probably about half inch strips. I like to get the peppers in the pan a couple of minutes before the onions because it takes a little longer for the peppers to break down. Okay, we have the peppers in there. And I like to add a touch of salt. Okay, and we'll let that go while we start dicing our onion. Uh, our onion is a nice thick strip because this breaks down much more than the pepper does. Okay, we've got the pepper peeling. I really do remember going to the feast and my parents giving me $10 for the night. Most of the kids would go to the game. The balloon game, the game with the bottles, get that dot in there to win your 50 cent stuffed animal. I always take in my 10 bucks and I've always put it towards food. My food menu at the feast was Zapolis, a sausage and pepper hero, and I finished with a cannoli. Life couldn't get any better. So I have the onions here, I'm gonna check the peppers. And while these peppers are still hanging, they're deglazing everything on the bottom of the plant on the bottom of the pan, all the flavor that's left on the sausage. Going to take my onions now, and put them there and with the peppers, and get that going for about 10 minutes. And the sausage and peppers been cooking for about 10 minutes, the peppers and the onions, and I added the sausage back into the pan. I put a lid on it uh, for five minutes to get everything mixed in all together. I a little cracked black pepper, and I like a little shot of red pepper in my sausage and peppers, okay? It's absolutely incredible. Take me back to the streets of New York. I mean, look at the colors, look at that. Okay, and we got nice, crusty Italian bread, and this is how I do it. Hungry, very hungry, ridiculously hungry. But today, we're gonna go with just hungry. Okay, slicing the bread here. And I have to tell you, I met a friend a couple years ago, his name's Bobby, he's from Chicago. He talks funny, and I know that's funny, coming from me, talking about somebody's accent. But he told me about the Chicago style sausage and pepper, Italian beef, where they mix pork and beef. And I have to tell you, kind of sad I didn't grow up in Chicago, but we'll save that for another episode. So that's the sandwich. Let me take a bite of this and see what happens. Bam! You could take me right now and the world is good. Bon appetit.